This is the equipment that's required to seal pipes with multi-seal sewer and multi-seal HC60. We recommend using two separate membrane pumps and our inflatable pipe plugs. Multi-seal sewer and multi-seal HC60 comprise a two-component system, so do not mix the fluids. Collect excess fluid separately. Multi-seal sewer and multi-seal HC60 are reusable. Insert the inspection camera into the leaky sewer pipe. This is how the leak looks from the inside. Block off the cleaned pipe with a multi-seal test prop and fill the pipe section with water to determine the water loss. Water loss may not exceed 70% of the total water volume in the pipe section to be sealed within 15 minutes. Empty the water from the sewer pipe and insert the inflatable pipe plug into the leaky sewer pipe. To correctly position the pipe plug, use an inspection camera when doing this in a real-life situation, if necessary. Here, the sewer pipe and leak are now covered to resemble a real-life situation as much as possible. We inflate the pipe plug. Here you can see the two different membrane pumps we use in the sealing process. Connect suction and filling hoses to the membrane pumps. Thoroughly shake multi-seal sewer before use. Use membrane pump 1 to fill the pipe with multi-seal sewer. Switch on the compressor and pump multi-seal sewer into the sewer pipe. Completely fill the section of sewer pipe that needs to be sealed with multi-seal sewer and let it remain in the sewer pipe for one hour. It may be necessary to top up. After one hour, switch the membrane pump 1 from pressure to suction and pump out the sealant from the sewer pipe. Deflate the pipe plug to make sure that all multi-seal sewer leaves the pipe. Thoroughly shake the hardener multi-seal HC60 before use as well. Use membrane pump 2 to fill the pipe with multi-seal HC60. Reinflate the pipe plug and use membrane pump 2 to fill the sewer pipe with the hardener multi-seal HC60. Also, let multi-seal HC60 remain in the sewer pipe for one hour. It may be necessary to top it up to. After one hour, switch membrane pump 2 from pressure to suction and empty the sewer pipe. Deflate the pipe plug to allow all multi-seal HC60 to leave the sewer pipe. Repeat the entire procedure if no multi-seal HC60 needs to be added during the second process workflow, the sewer pipe leak has been sealed. Otherwise, repeat the entire process a third time. In most instances, however, two process workflows are sufficient to successfully seal a leak. Mechanically remove any multi-seal residue from the inner surface of the sewer pipe. The pipe plug and filling hoses are removed from the sewer pipe. The sewer pipe is cleaned with water. The inspection camera is reinserted into the sewer pipe. This shows the sealed leak from the inside. In this simulation of sealing a sewer pipe, we remove the soil around the pipe afterwards to show how the sealing process works. 
This shows how multi-seal has attached itself to the exterior surface of the pipe and the leak. We block off the sewer pipe with a multi-seal test prop and refill it with water. As you can see, the leak is now sealed and no water is lost. To ensure sufficient hardening of the seal, do not pressure test the hardness of the seal with water or compressed air until 12 to 24 hours after the seal has been applied.